Okay, let's go ahead and segue to the next one. We should probably just pass this up. This is, oh, that was just the thermal over pot somewhere else. Oh, that was the chicken sauce part. Okay, yeah, look, see, it looks exactly like the, the Bennett Springs video, thermal over pot. This is, uh, when I got my thermal camera, we, of course, met back at the park at the same campsite that I had my encounter. And I kept walking back to the creek about every 30 minutes, looking up and down the creek with my thermal camera. We weren't really efficient with the thermal at that time. We didn't know its you know, real true capabilities. And so I was basically just walking down and just viewing the creek. And around midnight, I walked down to the creek and I viewed down. And all of a sudden, behind all this scrub, I see what looks like somebody standing in the water. And it was cold. And this is the video you see when I hit record. The only mistake I made is trying to move closer and completely screwing the whole thing up. Trying to use it. I was trying to look through the camera to move. And I was stumbling over stuff I couldn't see, and, and then when I finally got back to the creek, he was gone. But you can see him. See that heat signature? It's just standing in the water, and there, there was only one other person at that campsite. And that is where that appears to be looking into a campsite. There was one man and one woman already asleep, and that's the campsite he was looking into. You see, when I try to move closer, finally, finally drop down to where you can see a shoulder there, and that, that's about it. I, I, I knew I needed to move. I was like, I've got to get more over so I can see his whole body. And so I'm trying to move around the scrub, and, and he hears me, and he's gone.
I see a dirty handprint on the door. See that handprint? It looked like something had its fist closed and hit, and you can see the curled fingers above it and the palm print. And look how big it is compared to my hand. See up there? Mm -hmm. And really, those bathrooms have running water. So I'm thinking, who would go in there with dirty, dusty hands and not come in just rinse their hands up? And with the hair up on the buckle and the hair print on the door, I think you ladies need to tell them park there's to put a lock on the door. Well, the hair was on the men's side, but the hand print was on the lady's side. It's just interesting. In light of what has happened there, that could be a person. I'm, it could be a person's hand. I mean, who's going to lie? It could be a person's hand. I'm just saying in light of everything that's happened there and what I know is in that park, it makes me say, I think that's one of their hands. Okay, there's the footprint I found less than a mile away on Guy Sandy Creek. Not your typical human footprint, where the big toe is out further than the rest, and the rest is in the line. And that was my daughter's footprint with a shoe on. I had her step next to it. She was the smallest footed person by us, with us, for size comparison. Hers was a female foot, size seven, I believe. So that is a very wide. And when she smashed her foot into the ground, I got mad at her because she actually moved the mud and made that print more narrow. And that's how wide it is when she made it more narrow. So it was actually wider than that before she squished the foot down, so it's too close. And the second print showed that it had slits. I think it was standing in the creek as we were coming down the creek and we waited until the last minute where it says, I gotta go. And that first print was awesome because he was standing there just waiting and watching. And when we got too close, he took off. And the second print was slid like he was trying to run. Yeah, let's go. Okay, here's one of my game cam pictures. This was from the same campsite number 30. I had set up a game cam. I got some new game cams that took night pictures, infrared, and I set up a bunch of gear on the picnic table, and you can see you got the corner, you got later. And you can see that I hung a bag of goodies on the lantern post. That bag was full of all kinds of treats and drippy, good-smelling sweets. And, and that's why I had the game camera pointed towards the base, thinking that somebody would check out the base and I'd get a picture. But that's not what happened. All the baits I put out there, they could just be ignored. Even when I was by my truck, they ignored it. So baits are not as maybe as great of an attraction as you think, because that's not what interests them. I don't think they have a problem with eating. They eat lots of things. And when they come around us, they're curious. And they're, they're, are smart and, and they're, they're curious about what, what we're about, what we've got. So I had a camp table full of my supplies. I hid the camera in the middle of all those supplies pointing towards it. And I had all the supplies stacked up just so it just looked like a camping gear. As most people's gear would be all piled on. So sure enough, that night I got a series of three photos on this game. This one was the first one where something had just popped its head up over the table, was looking at the table and got his picture caught. Notice, there are no ears. There's no pointy ears. You don't see any ears at all. That rules out. You have the comparison pictures. That rules out any, any, any cat. No ears, you know how high the ears are? There's no ears. That was kind of a joke. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. But they're all around, so you have to put it up. You know it's not a pair. You see those ears? Definitely not either one of these. I, my first, if, if I would have woke up and, and saw my stuff got into, I would just assume where I could. They were acting like crazy there. But that is not a picture of a rat. Now, you know what seals the deal for me? That picture there caught his arm and shoulder. You see hair on top of the arm, you see hair on the lap, and that's the front of the arm. That's the same series of pictures, the second picture, where he's reaching across the table for something. Now the next picture is me the next morning looking at my bait bag for evidence, not knowing that there's anything else on the camera, but you get my backside. Do we have that picture? Okay. It was just me looking at the bait bag and you see my picture, my bald head, and at that point I didn't know there was anything on the camera. So. It's an enjoyable, enjoyable process trying to outsmart these 